welcome back, everybody. It's good to see you again this week. And, you know, I can't do my show without, you know, who, well, who, you know, who. So let's talk about music in the Finger Lakes. Well, before we get too far, I'd like to, I'd like to let you know that you don't have to remember anything I say. And the reason for that is that you can find all the live music events on flxmusic247.com. So if you listen to this podcast and you immediately forget every single thing I said, just go to the website and you can find a, a great band to see in an awesome venue. So here we go. Before we get started... I'd like to make sure that we get connected on Facebook and Instagram. Who's going to be a star? And I'm hoping that you and who can be an Instagram sensation as well. So we'll be out and about. And if you see us come by for a photograph, um, we'd like to make FLX music pretty popular in the area so that anyone who's looking for music can find it quickly and easily. That's our goal. Well, of course, who again? Who? And who knows where to go and find live music? Um, I'm really excited about who because when I go out to places now, I, I'm now the, I don't know, maybe the crazy music lady with a stuffed animal. But hey, we match, so it works out okay. Let's go, let's go off to a new location this week. Last, last week we talked about Seneca Falls venues, and I have to take you down south to Keuka Lake, otherwise known as the Crooked Lake. There's some fantastic new venues down there that you've got to go see. And here's a picture of Crooked Lake. At the top of the lake is Penyan, the village of Penyan, and way down at the bottom is the village of Hammondsport. And there's a lot of interesting and beautiful places to stop up and down both sides of the lake. And if you're a park person, you can find the state park uh, at the point of the bluff in between the forks of the lake. Super awesome place to drive around and, and check out everything. Let's go. Well, the first place you have to go to is a newly opened place right in downtown Penyan, uh, Lauren Tide Beer Company, a fantastic venue. You won't find it easily, you gotta kinda look. It's on Maiden Lane, which is a tiny little uh, uh, alleyway right in the middle of Penyan and find Marla and her uh, friends and family in there. They've, they have a bed and breakfast, they have a, a beer and tap room, and they're adding on a new restaurant. Very exciting place to stop. Then out on the main road, out on Route 14 going south, with a view to die for is Climbing Bines Hop Farm and Craft Brewery. They're also a relatively new uh, place. And they have they started growing vines on their farm, and now they're you know producing their own beers. Um, I, I vowed as an English teacher never to say that. So you can, if I say beers again, I don't know. Put a quarter in the jar for me. But Climbing Vines is also opening a new location right downtown in Geneva in the old Opus restaurant. So I look forward to seeing them down there. They'll have live music in both locations uh, starting later in the month. Well, another hot spot is a favorite of mine with a view to die for overlooking the shores of Cuca Lake, and that's uh, the Keg and Barrel. And Aaron and Jim are new owners down there, and they are providing music every Friday from 5 to 8. And they typically have food trucks, and they have their own kitchen, and there's lots of different types of beer and ciders and wine available for you. It's a really friendly atmosphere down there, and I'm sure you'll feel welcomed if you stop in. And then... Well, there's a lot of new places on Cuca Lake, but this one is really old, believe it or not. They've updated some things. I think since 1894, when they first opened, they have docks right on the lake. So if you're a boater, hop on over. Uh, they're having music, wow, four, five times a week. And it's, uh, it's the young people's hot spot with DJs on Saturday nights starting late at 9. I've heard they've had some complaints from the neighbors, but hey... If you can't dance, I guess you just got to go to bed. Let's go on to the, another place uh, at the Gateway. If you drive, I don't even know what road it is, but it's the first uh, its the first stop when you're coming up north from Bath, New York. You just take a hard right into the parking lot of the Finger Lakes Beer Company. And uh, as you can see from the board, they have a lineup that goes on for days and days and days. And Katie there in the picture and Mark and the other owners have, are providing food for you. And Chris B is often the caterer with an upscale food truck. And there's other food trucks that are on site um, every Friday afternoon from 4 to 7 and most Sunday mornings for brunch as well. Really nice place to stop. I recommend it. 
And then after you get through Hammondsport, you're going to drive a little bit. There's other venues uh, hidden in the hills there, which will remain nameless for today. Uh, some of them do have music, but we'll let you know about that in a while. But I do want to highlight Lion Smith Brewing Company. Uh, some of the nicest people you meet, uh, Dave and Sarah and their family, they've created a very warm environment. And they are focused on promoting musicians that play original music. So that's a really awesome hot spot if you're looking for uh, new artists. Th they have an early session on Saturday from 1 to 4, so it can be your first stop. A really good place. They also have food trucks on occasion. And, you know, of course. Can you start drinking beer at 1 o'clock on Saturday? I think so. If you drink. If you don't, you don't have to. So then, well, I don't know what to say about this place. When I found this, I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Where is this place? And I've driven there now a couple, couple of times. But Point of the Bluff is way up on the hillside on the west side of Keuka Lake. And their winery has been open since 2007. But in 2019, they built this slice of heaven higher up on the hill. And it's a, it's a pavilion, a concert pavilion. Uh, concerts are held open air in the great weather. They have the ability to close it down when it's, when it's not as great. And as you can see in the photograph, there's, there's hillside seating, and they have big screens outside so you can see the band from even outside. And the bands, well, there's lots of ways to check. Of course, I recommend checking flxmusic247.com for the lineup. But you can also see their concert, their full concert lineup right on their own website. Uh, again, it's a special event for you. It's, there are ticket prices for these events, but it might make a great birthday gift or a vacation destination if you have uh, visitors coming to town. I highly recommend you checking them out. And then the Foltz family at Vineyard View Winery. Well, the Foltz family has been growing wines for five generations, and the fifth generation uh, family, Adam and his wife, Nikki, have uh, started the Vineyard View Winery uh, back in 2012. And again, I, I, I just don't know what to say about the opportunity to sit back in a comfortable chair and put your feet up and enjoy the view and whatever the, the venue has to offer you and enjoy live music. Vineyard View also has their own food truck, and all their events are on FLX Music 247, so you can find them pretty easily. I think they're having... Um, some Fridays, some Saturdays, and some Sundays, so you'll want to check out their schedule. And then finally, well, I don't have a four-wheel drive truck. You don't need one in the summer. I did think about going up there one time in the wintertime. They do have heaters in the barn, but um, it's summer, so go ahead, uh, just gun it, and take a, take a hard ride up Merritt Hill Road and get up to the top of the hill, and you will not be disappointed. This, and well, who loves it, of course, because it's a barn, and it's an old one, too. It's gorgeous inside, gorgeous outside. There's a pavilion for the bands. There's a giant, giant uh, bonfire pit, and there's just room for everybody. They also have some food there, pizza and pretzels. The beer, of course, is great, and they're going to be having music every weekend as well, typically on Fridays and adding Sundays uh, in the upcoming weeks. Got to go there. Say hi to AJ and Sarah and uh, Jeff and Pat and Carrie. Um, it's also a venue that's open for other events if you, well, you're probably too late for this year. But you never know. Give them a call if you'd like to plan an event at their space. They're open to that. Well, then, finally, I hope that that was enough information for you to remember and forget and maybe remember again. Um, come on back to flxmusic247.com. If you don't remember my email, you can find it on my contact, um, on the menu bar. I have a contact spot. Um, but let's get connected. I'm sure there are people out there that know about events that are coming up. I'm super excited to promote nonprofit events, fundraising events for a super small, reasonable marketing price to get your stuff on the site. And I can provide links for donations and links for tickets and uh, additional information about the event. And I'd, I'd love to see your event on the calendar with all the other ones. So, you know, give us a shout. Let's get in touch. And once again, uh, to my current partners, and I have a lot more, more to come, and I just want to make sure that, that they understand how grateful I am 
that they have some belief in what I'm providing for the community and for our tourists that are coming to our area. So I thank them again heartily. And last but not least, we have our artist of the week, our local, our local young man who I just saw the other night playing. What a delightful person, first of all. Charming, uh, open to chatting with whoever shows up in front of him. And then on top of that, a brilliant artist. He not only performs some cover tunes, but he's been encouraged to, to write and perform his original works. He has taken his tour both north and south, so half of the year he spent in uh, South Carolina and Florida, and he's back up here now. And if you get a chance to see him, I would highly recommend it. Uh, you won't be disappointed. It's, he, he's just a beautiful person, beautiful voice, wonderful music. I hope you enjoy it. Well, we will be talking more about music in the upcoming events, no, in the upcoming sessions, more than places. So I hope to provide you uh, some information about some dynamic groups that are playing at region, regional uh, venues and inspire you to get out there. I was thinking about this today, and who doesn't know about this, but what if you decided yourself personally to visit one new venue per month? What if a thousand people did that each month, visited one new place in the Finger Lakes? You would be supporting live music, musicians, and local businesses, and we can create a, a, a business environment that sustains everybody. That was sustains everybody. Did you get that, who? That sustains our family and friends and builds our area up into the magnificent Finger Lakes that we call home. Thank you so much. We'll see you again. Say how I'm feeling lately I'm not sure that you'd understand Cause I fell in love so fast with you, baby It wasn't my plan You made my head spin around so completely You put the words right into these songs And I've been a touch out of sorts a little crazy So you ask me what's going on Well I've got more love songs going on in my speakers I can't stop myself from going on and on about you I got butterflies going on deep inside me And I'm going on 